tune in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel as we take you on a ride through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Burna Boy regrets beef with late South African rapper AKA. Popular Nigerian singer Burna Boy has finally reacted to the death of South African rapper AKA on social media. Reacting to the death of his estranged friend and collaborator, Burna Boy said he wished they settled their beef over his demise. Burna and AKA's relationship became strained after their social media beef in 2019 over the xenophobic attack on Nigerians in South Africa, which the former claimed the latter supported. In another post, the singer regretted his strained relationship with the late rapper and noted that he wished it did not end the way it did. At number 9, Chris Maragos awarded $43.5 million in medical malpractice case. Former Philadelphia Eagles captain Chris Maragos has been awarded $43.5 million in lawsuit against his doctor over a career-ending knee injury. The jury at Philadelphia County Court of Common Pleas found that orthopedic surgeon James Bradley and Rothman Orthopedics were negligent in the medical malpractice case, causing harm to two-time Super Bowl winning safety and forcing him to end his NFL career prematurely. Bradley was found to be 67% negligent, which is 29 $9.2 million with Rothman Orthopedics 33%, which is $14.3 million according to court documents. The 31 year old suffered an injury during a game against the Carolina Panthers on October 12, 2017, which was later diagnosed as a torn right knee posterior cruciate ligament. At number 8, I was criticized for not being Igbo and light skinned, says Idia Aisien. Nigerian actress and model Idia Aisien has aired her opinion in an interview with the media personality Chude Judeon, where she discussed the criticism that showed her debut performance in Play Network's Nick at the Pretty Serpent. Aisien brushes the point by stating that Nigerians need to respect and love women more, as many attributes the success of women to their male counterparts. Aisien links her point back to the criticism that followed the film, stating that the major reason for criticism is because of who played the role of Nick, the complexion, and so on. Our comments came at a time when there are many controversies surrounding women, their lifestyles, and their sources of income. A lot of the people that came out to criticize the movie were criticizing it because of the choice of Necker. And that, that was, was what thing. broke my heart. Ah, right. So, so was... they criticized it before a lot of people got to see it. And that's why they succeeded last year. Oh, this right. year, my God, Fought for you. stood for me. Last year, a lot of people didn't get to see it. And yes. it was just, eh, my friend auditioned. Why did my friend get it? Da -da -da -da. Okay. You know, it was now, it was now like, and it was, it was... I, I just thought, wow, like you haven't even, I knew they hadn't even seen the, see movie. the movie. So there was this criticism that now made a lot of people say, we're not going to go see, see it. it. But then this Which was also still fine. Right. Um, then other people saw it and they were like, we love it, we love it. Cool. Yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't the magnitude of, the, of what I know we shot. Yeah, so this yeah. was now that opportunity where... For the world yeah. to see it. At number 7, Mozambique pastor dies and attempts to recreate Jesus' 40 days fast. A pastor in Mozambique has died after attempting to fast for 40 days like Jesus Christ. Francisco Baraja, who founded the Santa Trindade Evangelical Church in the central province of Manica, was unable to stand, bathe or walk by the end of his ordeal. The pastor was said to have developed severe anemia and had internal organ damage including inability to digest food. One of Baraja's neighbors said the clergyman had become sick on the 25th day of his fast but that his health became much worse on the 38th day. Medics reportedly attempted to rehydrate and nourish Baraja with liquid foods but to no avail. At number 6, Yetunde Akilakba caught again. Nollywood actress Yetunde Akilakba caught again breaking into a house and stealing properties. A lady on Twitter has accused Nollywood actress Yetunde Akilakba of unlawfully getting entry into a house and attempting to cart away her property. This is the fourth time a story of Akilakba getting entries into homes with a bunch of master keys has hit the net. All times, she has been arrested. In 2018, she was arrested for trying to gain unlawful access into a house in Magoro, Shangisha, Lagos. That was coming three years after she was arrested while breaking into a beauty lounge with a master key. After closing hours in Yaba, where she worked and four years after, she was bitten to coma for a similar offense. The lady on Twitter simply identified as no partly wrote and I quote, She had packed my wigs and all my gold. Was about to start checking my bags when I entered. She had keys. She's at a police station. 
at number five. I have closed doors to all expired blessings, says Okwemi Falegon. Okwemi Falegon, ex lover of popular Nollywood actress Nkechi Blessing, has found love again after his messy splits from the actress. Sharing the video of him and his lover on his Instagram page to show how they spent the Valentine's Day, Falegon appeared to throw subtle jabs at his ex lover Nkechi. He noted how healthy his new relationship is and that he has closed doors on expired blessings. He wrote, and I quote, Won't be a serial date on social media, I can assure you that. I'm a lover boy and also in a healthy relationship and attachment. I've closed all doors on expired blessings. At number 4, FA investigating after objects thrown at Kevin De Bruyne in win at Arsenal. The Football Association has launched an investigation after Manchester City's Kevin De Bruyne had objects thrown at him during the 3-1 win at Arsenal. Referee Anthony Taylor is believed to have mentioned it in his match report. Arsenal are studying CCTV footage and say they will impose strict sanctions if those responsible can be identified. De Bruyne scored and set up a goal as City took over top sport in the Premier League from the Gunners. At number 3, Cubana Chief Priest finally rewards boy in viral rally photo. Popular Nigerian socialite Cubana Chief Priest has now fulfilled his pledge to Yusuf Alabi, the young boy photographed at Peter Obi's Lagos rally. Recall that the socialites had reacted to the viral photo by asking for the boy to be found because he wanted to change his life and get him off the streets. Kibana Chief Priest has established communication with the boy to the joy of Nigerians on social media and also requested that all the support and contribute to taking the young boy off the street. At number 2, Michael Jordan makes record-breaking donation. Basketball Hall of Famer Michael Jordan is making a record-breaking $10 million donation to Make-A-Wish America in honor of his 60th birthday, the organization has announced. Michael Jordan makes record-breaking $10 million donation to Make-A-Wish for 60th birthday. The gift is the largest given by an individual in the foundations for three-year history. Jordan, who turns 60, hopes his donation will inspire others to support Make-A-Wish. According to the organization, the first wish Jordan granted happened in 1989. He has granted hundreds of wishes to children all over the world. President and CEO of Make-A-Wish America, Leslie Motter, said, We hope that the public will be inspired to follow in his footsteps by helping make wishes come true. At number 1, Tiwa Savage makes acting debut in Water and Gary. Nigerian music diva Tiwa Savage makes her acting debut in Water and Gary, adding another feather in her cap. In addition to taking the lead role of Aisha and serving as an executive producer, the singer wrote and performed the original soundtrack for the movie. Coincidentally, the film shares the same title of a 2021 EP. The movie cast includes Mike Afolari, Andrew Bonting, and Jemima Osunde. Water and Gary is a joint production between Unbound Studios and JM Films, with Comfort Imano as the writer, Major Labi as the director, and Vanessa Amadi Ogbona as one of the executive producers. And with that, it's a wrap of today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more information, follow us on all our social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.